Hey everyone, this is Kirk Masson from Masson Labs, and I have got the most exciting news for you today. We have completely reworked our toolkit, and we've got some new tools that are going to change the way that you edit forever. You are going to be literally playing God with light and relighting your photos and creating new ways of seeing the same photo that you could never imagine. It is amazing. So let's just jump right in. Uh, we've got this photo by Adventure and Vow. I'm going to apply Ektachrome 100 to it. Looks amazing. I'm going to just increase the exposure a little bit, drop the temperature a little bit, and there we go. Beautiful edit, three-step workflow. You know it. You love it. Simplest way on the planet to deliver and edit your or to edit and deliver your photos. You know it. Okay, that's great. But we've gone beyond. I'm going to apply this look to the next four photos so you can show you these tools. And now that I've done that, here we go. All right, here's our first new AI tool. And this is using AI technology in Lightroom to dynamically relight your photo. This one is called Spotlight, and it is just amazing. It is basically, in a way, putting a spotlight on your subject. Your subject and the background are now in different layers. Your subject is a little bit brighter. The background is a little bit darker. And you've gone from this to this in one click. It's really, really amazing. I, I just can't believe what this new update is allowing us to do. I love it. So great tool. You want to put a little emphasis on your subject. Spotlight is the way to go. Let's move on down the line. Here's back to our original, you know, edit, three-step edit. Now say you want to be a little, you want to go more towards uh, light and airy. And you want to preserve the contrast in your subject, but you want to give it a lighter and airier look. That is what we've made Light and Airy Assist for. It is fantastic. Watch this. In one click, now you have a light and airy photo. It's preserved all the details in the subject. It's made them a little bit lighter, but it has really, really brightened up the background in a completely natural way. It is basically, it feels like magic to me. I love it. And this tool I'm going to be using this entire year. Light and Airy Assist, bow down. It is fantastic. Okay, so say you don't, you don't want to go light and airy. So you've got your basic starting point again, you, and you're a dark and moody photographer. Well, you can use dark and moody assist. That is just amazing. Like this underexposed film look where you've got the faded shadows, a little bit of crushed highlights, you can now bring that to your photo in one click in a very natural way. And on top of that, all of our tools in our toolkit right now work with the amount slider. So if this is a little bit too much for you, you can come up to the amount slider and just dial it back. So you've got that dark and moody look, just you know, using the, the dark and moody assist and you wanna dial it back, you can with the amount slider. Or say you wanna just be like extra dark and moody, you wanna be the moodiest person on your block, man, just, I don't know, take it all the way up to 200%. I mean, that's a little extreme, this is like, you shot your portrait 160 and you underexposed it by two stops and you went to the lab and you're like, please save my film. And they bring it back and it is like super uh, faded like this. Yeah, that, but I mean, that this is a vibe. This is very, very cool looking. I love it. It's really up to you. These are brand new tools and yeah, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so we've got Spotlight, Light and Area Assist, and dark and moody assist. So those are three out of the four AI tools. Let me show you the last one here. So I've gone over to the sailing photo. I'm gonna apply extra chrome again, just cause that's my favorite in the pack. Increase the exposure, increase the temperature. And I don't know, I'm bringing, you know, I'm trying to bring out the detail in this guy here with the binoculars and all this. Uh, but you know what's happening? The sky is getting kind of boring. It's kind of getting blown out. You know, it doesn't look bad. But this is where you use Sky Save. So with Sky Save, we've now dynamically darkened the sky on a gradient from top to bottom. And what's so cool about these AI tools is that they work around all the objects in this photo that are not sky. So instead of having to go through the photo with a brush and dodging and burning and trying to like make an accurate you know, pass through these lines and this rigging, it's just done automatically. And if I wanted to go a little darker, I just go up to the amount slider and crank it up. Now I have like the most amazing sky. The subject is lit exactly how I want. 
and I did it in just like a few clicks. I love these tools. So there you go. Those are our main new AI tools. There are some other really cool updates to our tone profiles, to strobe soften, to orange reduction, to dynamic noise reduction. All of these things have been updated to incorporate uh, Adobe's latest technology through Lightroom. And if you wanna learn more, there's a second video where we do a super deep dive into all these tools one by one to give you even a better taste of what is possible in this toolkit. But I know it is gonna change your editing forever and I cannot wait to see what you do in the group. So good luck and happy editing.